today we're trying a new restaurant in Indianola. We are eating at Ding's Garden, which is a Chinese restaurant. If you've watched our channel for a while, you'll know that last year Craig discovered that he loves some of the Chinese food. What's your favorite thing? For sesame chicken. Yeah, he loves sesame chicken. He also likes orange chicken, crab rangoons, egg rolls. It's really pretty in here. I'm just gonna do a little spin around. I love this. We had a Ding's Garden when we lived in Knoxville. But it wasn't this pretty. They had the best crab rangoons, so we'll see if this is the Chicken. same. Egg rolls. Egg crab rangoons. Of sesame chicken with no rice and a side of an egg roll and, and crab ragoons. And very quickly our soup has arrived. I got the egg drop soup and I ordered the hot and sour soup for Craig, which we will take home for Joe because he really likes that. And I'm sure I'll have some uh, left of my sesame chicken to take home to Joe also. And Craig's just enjoying himself over here. What else are we going to do today, Craig? Take the cans to Walmart. Mm -hmm. We have some shopping to do at Walmart. We're going to make Waldorf salad tonight, which one of our viewers suggested. And it sounds like something Craig will really like and will be great for us to make. And we need some other items. And then what are we doing after that? The YMCA. Yeah, we're going to the YMCA. Maybe a stop at Dollar Tree. We'll see. Craig, next week we're thinking of going to the Talk Shop Lounge which is in St. Charles, Iowa. It's like 30 minutes from where we live, I think. What do you think about that? Yeah, what's that? It's a restaurant that they have pizza and sandwiches. Open. And we had to get the crab rangoons because they have really delicious crab rangoons. They look like the ones that we used to have in Knoxville. So I'm going to have a try here. What do you think, Craig? Mmm. Mmm. They look delicious. Nice and fresh and crispy. Do you remember the last time we snacked around the world at Epcot? Yeah, like cheese dip and chips. Yeah. And well, pastries in it, Norway. What was your favorite thing when we snacked around the world? Crips. The crepes? Yeah. Yeah, those were so good. Yeah. At the, what's it called? The La Creperie? Yep. Yeah. And what was one thing that you didn't like when we... The Frankfurters. Yeah, Craig. They taste land. <laughs> they did. They... Craig wanted the Frankfurter in Germany. And I thought it sounded good too, but it just it didn't have any taste to either of us. I would not recommend that. Yeah, I would not recommend it either. <laughs> and our food has arrived. Craig and I got the same thing, which is the sesame chicken. Um, I got rice and an egg roll. Craig didn't want the rice, but this is the lunch special, which is $9.95 for this and the soup, which is an incredible amount of food. We did have to pay extra for the crab rangoons, which were so light and crispy, and that nice little dollop of cream cheese in the middle. They were just perfect. Let's see how Craig likes it. Mm. You like the egg roll? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he likes this sesame chicken here. Is it hot? I think it's hot. Huh. <laughs> how is the sesame chicken? Good. The sesame chicken is perfection. It is fresh and the breading is still crispy. It has a great taste. It's not too sweet. Sometimes I think, um, sometimes I think sesame chicken is too sweet, but this isn't. It's probably some of the best sesame chicken I've had actually. Highly, highly recommend Dings in Indianola. And when we're done, I'll have Craig give his review. Come on, fortune cookie. <laughs> Break the fortune cookie! The greatest truths are the simplest. 
and so are the greatest people. Oh, well, I think that's a some good wisdom. Yep. Now, as you may know, Den's Garden is the best Chinese restaurant. The crab ragoons, the egg roll, and the sesame chicken are delicious. The waiter is nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and the Craigie Van Vroo Silver Approval. Awesome. It was delicious. We got here, and they're doing maintenance on the machines. So we're going to do our shopping and see if they're done before we leave. Otherwise, we'll come back after the YMCA. And Craig's doing good with it. Uh-huh. Craig says he needs some fluoride, so I think that's where he's headed. Got it? All right. Look at the chameleon. And it's orange. Mm-hmm. An orange chameleon. And a purple unicorn, a pink snail. It's just hand. the row. Pink yeah, hold up that big pink flamingo so I can see it. This is, who buys these giant animals for their kids for Valentine's Day? Ooh, that one's cute. Now, what's what the one next to it? Can you hold it up so we? Will you hold it up so we can see it? Because it looks like it's. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. That could be a nice pillow, actually. That might be my favorite. Look at the, what's that one up there with the big ears, Craig? It's a Fennec Fox. <laughs> Craig says we need more triple A's. Craig, what do you use all those triple A batteries My for? Fire stick. For your fire stick. He's always changing the batteries in that. These are my favorite Valentine candies. What's your favorite Valentine candy, Craig? The Sour Bite Hearts. Sour Bite Hearts. Yep. Look at that giant box of candy. That's huge. These pretty flowers are drawing me in. I like those. I'm getting in the Valentine decorating mood. Oh, I like these. They're all so pretty. Here are these Care Care oranges that people have been telling me about in the comments. And we are going to try these today. I do love a good orange. Do you like oranges, Craig? Yeah. Yeah, let's try these. They come highly recommended. The last time we got those Cosmic Crisps and they were so good. So let's see if we can find those again. So our Honey Crisp, are these the Cosmic Crisps? what those are. I probably won't have them. It's Fuji, Guy Smith, Red Delicious. Are these Red Delicious too? Yes, those are all Red Delicious. Organic. Mm. Oh, here we go. Cosmic Crisp. Okay, that's what we need, Craig. We need to get a... Can you get me a bag over there for those? Okay. All right, let's get some apples. Still no blackberries. This so we're grabbing a berry medley again. Maybe, do, what do you think about just some ra red raspberries, Craig? What's that? Should we get some red raspberries too? Just yeah. an extra thing of those? Because I like this a lot. Okay. Has anyone tried this? It looks really good. And no one in my house would eat this but me, so... I don't want to eat this. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to try it because I love mushrooms. Look at these adorable donut slippers. So cute. They're $14.98, and they also have little tacos. Oh, it's a burrito. Those are sweet. We're going to try some insoles for Craig's shoes for when we're in Florida. Just to make sure they're nice and comfortable for him. We don't have that yet. 
Oh, is that the new? That's the sing along edition. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. I mean, what's the matter with this film? I don't see nothing wrong with it. I thought it was a fun movie. I think it's pretty powerful. The squishmallows are everywhere, aren't they, Craig? Yeah. They sure are cute. Yeah. What cute. do you think that one's supposed to be? A the pink one. A mushroom. That's a mushroom. What do you think this one is? A Asparagus, maybe? A artichoke. Artichoke? Oh, okay. What'd you find in that box, Craig? Frogs? Life like animals. Was there anything besides frogs in there? Spiders and a lizard. Oh, I see. I'm sure I said that this before, but we love this brand. These balls are such great stress balls. Everyone likes to play with them, not just Craig. Uh oh, mystery slime. I may have to put that in our surprise box. We try to find little things to put in our surprise box at home. I was looking for good deals. Something is a dollar. Um, Mashems, it's these, which are I don't know if they even know who these were, so we won't get those. And these are on clearance for two dollars each, so we'll try one of these. But I better get two because now Josie wants a surprise when Livy gets one, of course. We're done with our shopping and the machines were just ready to go. So Craig is happy as can be. Unfortunately, our can machine got full before we were done. So we're going to have to try the South Side in Walmart when we get back. Craig's a little upset, but you're going to be okay, right, Craig? It's actually a really nice day today. The sun is super bright. It's 20 degrees, which seems warm with the sun. So we're going to have a good rest of the day, right? Craig's not sure, but he'll be okay. I want to make a quick stop at Dollar Tree to look at the Valentine decorations. I'm looking for a cute garland. So far, they all look the same and they're not what I want. So we'll give this a try. Okay. Do you have AAA batteries? I do. I, AAA batteries are in the car. But look at all the different Peeps flavors, Craig. Remember our Peeps taste test we had last yep. year? Well, it looks like a nice Valentine section if I can find what I want. That's not really what I want. Um, this looks a lot like what I've already been seeing everywhere. Maybe when I get my Valentine's Day stuff out, I'll find out I have a garland already. Wouldn't be all that surprising. Nothing really to hang across. I want something for across my fireplace. This would be cute to hang on the girl's door. And something to hang in the sunroom. We'll keep looking. Well, they do have another aisle of Valentine things. Over here they have Valentine candy. Fun fact, if I remember right, they have the best conversation hearts. Let's see if they're the same as they were. They might not be. They have hot tamale conversation hearts. This is their three and five dollar aisle. They do have some Valentine decorations here. That's it. Craig, why don't you just go by me? There we go. Also looks about the same as you see everywhere. They also have, uh, of course, Easter stuff out already. That's a cool Easter egg there. 
Craig is very ranty because of the whole pop can situation. And what didn't help either is that when we were at checkout, the grapes wouldn't ring up. So we had to wait quite a while for someone to help us because Walmart was super busy and they didn't have very much help, it seemed like. Um, so that got him also wound up. This looks like a fun thing that Libby would like. Not a lot new so far since the last time we were here. Okay, I want to see how much bleach is here because bleach has gotten unbelievably expensive. Like bleach used to be, I swear bleach used to be like $2 for a big thing and now it's like $4 and something. Um, well, maybe it's down there. First of all though, I'm going to go over here and see if they have Dawn dish soap. Because for me, Dawn's like the miracle stain remover, grease cutter, but they don't have that brand here. I always like to see what kind of things they have for cleaners. I see bleach down here. Oh, these are what I like to have to take on vacation too for laundry. So I'm going to get a few of these. And let's see. The bleach here is $1.25, of course. There's a big thing of it for $1.25. And this is the size of the bleach, I believe, that I got from Walmart that was $4 and something. So we're going to grab some bleach. This is what I saw at Walmart one time in the clearance aisle, but it was still like five or six dollars. For a dollar twenty-five, I'm going to try this. It says as seen on TikTok and Instagram. So let's find out what this is about. Something I also didn't know is they have everything bagel seasoning here, and it's a dollar twenty-five, of course. Looks pretty much like the more expensive everything bagel seasoning I have at home. Great. We have finally made it to the YMCA. We had a lot of things we needed to do today. Craig has been chomping at the bit wanting to get here. He wasn't very thrilled with my stop at Dollar Tree, but he did okay. But he's still insisting we have to take those cans back before we go home today. That's not too busy, that's good. Craig's going to go take off his jacket. I got right to it. And just like that, we're done with the treadmill. And now we need to try to take back the rest of our cans on the south side of Des Moines because Craig always needs to finish the job. It drives him crazy if we don't get to take them all back. So we're going to see if we can do that and we need to get the mail. And then we'll go home. It'll be about time for supper probably. Returning the cans, take two. Let's hope these machines are working. What time is it? Outside of the Muppet Show. We started our day at 10.30 and it is now 3.12. So far, so good. Please keep working. Joe's been at home today making jambalaya, which he told me he made a video of, so that video will be coming in the future. It might be too long to add to this video, so I don't know if we'll do a separate video of it or how we'll do it, but there will be a video of Joe making his famous jambalaya that he's so excited about. He said he already ate some and now he needs to take a nap. <laughs> 
We have one more. This is our last bag Craig has emptied out. Send us good wishes that we get them all done. Getting close. Oh, we only have three left now. Three, two, one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank goodness. Here's a smile for Keisha. All right, one last stop on this journey to check our mail. And the time is now 3.32. We might make it home before 4 o'clock yet. Here's a postcard. Okay. Hold it. Oh, it's pretty. And here's another postcard. Oh, another postcard. And this one's. And this is. I have a feeling that maybe this is. I need to look at this. Yeah. And we have a key. And there's a package in there, right? Yeah. It's present time. Craig got some mail today. Well, do you need me to cut it open? It looks yeah. like you might. Noah's Ark. Ooh, that's a good book. God bless America. You got some good ones to read. Is there a note in there or something? And it says, Greetings from West Virginia. Craig, Nancy, Joe, enjoy watching all travels, taste testing, cooking, volunteering. A friend and I were shopping today, and I came across these books. I was thinking of yours. Mount Go. Have you visited the life-size Noah's Ark in Kentucky? We haven't done that yet, have we? But, um... Joe and I have watched a video on it, and I have a friend that actually went to see that. It looks pretty awesome. And then she says, enjoy the books. You have a follower in West Virginia. It's Go from ahead. Dave and Tracy. Dave and Tracy. What do you say? Thank you, Dave and Tracy. Say, Go Mountaineers. Go Mountaineers. <laughs> and here's these postcards. Okay. Do you want to read them says, to us? Craig and family. Hello from Lewisburg, Portique. I'm from, I'm just visiting here for a few days but thought of you when I was packing up postcards. Maybe you can start collecting them for all your fans around the world. I think that'd be Merry awesome. Merry Christmas, Shelly Parks, a.k.a. Iron Mama. One okay, Iron let me Mama. take this. I put Washington Star because I grew up there. Des Moines, Iowa. By Parks in Law is gorgeous. I would recommend visiting. Happy Holidays from Shelly. This is in Portugal. Portugal. And this is Barcelona. Aren't these beautiful places? Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get a book and put all the postcards in we've been getting because we really enjoy these. I love postcards. I think they're just so interesting. Craig's looking over his book. You can read that for us tonight, okay, Craig? Yeah. I sh you should read what? I should read God Bless America. You want to read that tonight and the yeah. other one another night? Yeah. Okay. Tonight for dinner, Craig requested tuna salad on a bagel thin. And, of course, he wanted a salad kit. And he chose the Caesar bacon. <clears throat> Pretty sure the bacon got him. But he has really been liking the Caesar salads. Let's see how toasted these are. I like them pretty toasty. I think these, this is good. Um, I actually made this tuna salad last night and I made extra so we could have it tonight. This time I added chopped up water chestnuts. One of our viewers suggested that and I love it. It gives it that little more crunch. I also threw in a few craisins and a few chopped pecans and I'm really enjoying it. I also put a little bit of this in there, the everything bagel seasoning. It's really good. So far, my favorite tuna salad I've made. Craig, you ready to eat your dinner? Yep, ready to eat my dinner. All right. Hey, must be the dishwasher. 
I'll get it. Don't okay. worry. No, not yet. I'm waiting for you to t taste your stuff. Okay. There's Craig's plate. Do you want a sandwich? Do your stuff. Mmm. 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 Mm. It must be really good. Mm -hmm. I got that salad. Mm. I think he likes it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make my dinner now. Here's a look at the jambalaya that Joe made today. And that's what he wants for dinner tonight. He's putting some away to give to Dusty and Bennett right now. Good night, everybody. Now keep on having a great day.